case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The Supreme Court of the United States examined a 1987 case, Granberry v. Greer, which focused on the idea that before filing a habeas corpus petition in federal court, the petitioner must first exhaust all available state remedies. The case also dealt with the court's need to consider the interests of comedy and federalism when deciding whether to address the merits of the claim immediately or require additional state and district court proceedings. A state prisoner filed a habeas corpus petition in the district court for the Southern District of Illinois, which was dismissed on the merits after the state filed a motion to dismiss. The state argued on appeal that the petitioner had not exhausted his state remedies. However, this was not initially raised in the district court. The case was later remanded to the district court by the Court of Appeals for the Seventh Circuit, with instructions to dismiss without prejudice. The Supreme Court examined how appellate courts should handle unexhausted habeas petitions when the state does not raise the issue in the district court. The court proposed three different approaches, ultimately granting certiorari due to differing answers given by the courts of appeals. Highlighting the history of the exhaustion doctrine, the Supreme Court vacated the Court of Appeals' judgment and remanded the case for further proceedings in line with their opinion. The court emphasized that the appellate court should have flexibility in handling cases involving non-exhaustion, ultimately considering whether addressing the merits or requiring additional state proceedings best served justice. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.